that sign says applesauce. <laughs> no, 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 shh, 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 I'm kidding. It says applause. Uh, Gav? <laughs> Good, there you go. Uh, finally, Alpha 14. Dear friend, the wasteland can be an unforgiving place and you look like you could use some help. Enclosed is a short guide to help you survive. If you complete it, we might just take in a new citizen, the White River Settlement. You guys can go back and read that. Basic survival is your active quest. The quest status is displayed on the objection tracker in the top left of the screen. There you see it up there. And we are about to get set. Please let me do my intro. Is there anything else for me to read? No, there is not. What is happening, girls, guys, and everyone else out there? Once again, it is your host, your friend, your mate, your confidant, arachnid soul, intellectual, voracious, and passionate about finally playing some Seven Days to Die Alpha 14, as always. And before we get into the shank of the evening, you know I gotta plug it. At Arachnid Soul is the place to follow yours truly on Twitter as we pick up some stones here. It has been so long since I've made a Seven Days to Die video. I'm happy to be doing it. I wanted to do it in Alpha 13. The problem with Alpha 13 was I started playing it. And I was playing that on my NVIDIA GTX GeForce 960. It was not running well. And I actually upgraded to the 970. We'll talk about that in a couple of moments here. And the 970 still was not running it well. All sorts of frame drops, all sorts of FPS issues, and it just got annoying. And then there was a memory leak, which meant that when you started playing the game, everything was fine, the frames looked good, but as time went on, 15 or 20 minutes in, you realize you would start at 60 frames a second. Look at that water texture. I'm trying to tell you. You start at 60 frames a second, and then you were running the game at like 12, 13 frames a second. Was not good did not work out, and if anybody's watched my previous videos, the side-by-side -side things, the comparisons, the Fallout 4 video, the Nazi zombie army video, you would know that I had that 960, that GTX 960. I had it for about three weeks, and I said, and there you see yours truly in the game. I've said it a million times in games, I always go with either Mohawk or Dreadlocks. That's just how we do. I had that 960 for about three weeks, and it was damn good. It was running everything on the highest settings. And I said to myself, why is it I always have the second best thing and not the best thing? And I knew I wasn't going to go out and buy the actual Titans or even the 980, but the 970 was calling me. It beckoned me. And I said, okay, I'm going to get rid of the 960, so I got the 970. I am running this game right now on the 970. I have it fully maxed out in terms of graphics. I think one of the things you will notice, if you were paying attention to Seven Days to Die way back in the day, this game looks amazing now. You see the lighting effects. You see the ambient occlusion. I'm getting deja vu as I say that because... Pretty sure I said that in the Alpha 12 episode number one. In any case, here I am getting wood, but we're not going to talk about that because I'm also doing it in the game. Let me also talk about like, comment, subscribe. I'm not going to say much about that. I'm not going to sit here and, and be Hillary Clinton. But as we continue through this burnt forest, I want to point out, this is a biome they added a couple of alphas ago, and this was the hardest thing for me to run, because there's so much ambient occlusion, there's so much smog, there's so much smoke. So the fact that I'm able to run this now says a lot. The team actually did say that when they got to Alpha 14, they were going to start working on some optimization. With that said, I don't know that you're going to be able to run this game on high settings if you're trying to run it on a toaster. But if you got a 970, if you've got a pretty decent processor, I've got 4 gigs of VRAM now, that's certainly going to help. And I hope somebody's paying attention to what I'm doing in this video because I'm really not breaking it down for you. There's so much stuff I want to get through that I'm kind of ignoring it. I finally have a bow and arrow made, which means that when one of these zombies shows up, we're going to try for that first headshot of the year. That first clean, clean of the year if you... 
catch my drift, easy for me to say, make some wood frames here, just because I always make wood frames even when the game isn't telling me to, because if you have to go into a doorway, it's so easy to block them up with the wood frames. If you live in this house, you're probably going to pay an arm and a leg on heating. See, you have some glass jars. Glass jars are always good because you can fill them up with dirty water, you can boil that water, and then you've got clean drinking water. As you see in the lower left-hand side of the screen, the heads-up display is somewhat different because it used to keep track of your thirst, it used to keep track of your hunger. Now you actually have to go into your character bio screen, whatever you want to call it, and that's where you have to do it. So I'm not really a big fan of that. Everyone out there has noticed that the crafting menus now look a lot different. These aren't Alpha 14 crafting menus. I mean, they've upgraded a little bit, but this is basically Alpha 13. So this is kind of old hat, and I didn't really get to it. Didn't really get to show it to anybody. But look at the trees. Look at the rock. Looks at, I mean, the textures are beautiful in this game. Skipping ahead here a little bit, as I'm sure there was an edit there. We see our first zombie. Let's lay out. Oh, that headshot, boys and girls. Lay out once again. Three times, and it is the charm. And then we put him out of his misery, like the campaign of Carly Fiorina, and we proceed on. Now, look on the right side of the screen there. I love that. When you're hitting a rock and when you're getting things, it actually shows you exactly what you're getting. That's something I've been wanting to see in this game for a long time. They finally implemented it, and it is gorgeous. I'm just going to let everyone listen to the sounds here. I'm not going to say anything for a while. Actually, the reason I'm not going to say anything for a while is because I believe my pizza's there. Yeah, okay, nobody pay attention to this, yeah. Yeah, that's that vegan pizza, right? No, no, I'm just recording something right now. Yeah, I'm just... Uh-huh. You got you got that cheese on there? You got that barbecue sauce on there? You got that ranch on there? Sour Apple Jolly Ranchers. Yeah, that's what I want. All right. Looks looks good. How much is that? $399.99? All right, your boy's got you. With that good 20% tip. Okay, I'm back now. As we continue to play Seven Days to Die, and I would be remiss if I did not mention that awesome new intro. That red intro, no longer with the green. The fun pimps, the designers of this game have decided they're going with a new logo, and I said, I'm gonna go with that too. Get that headshot, because what they do now is if you take them down, they will actually kip up. What is this? Got a new mission here. Follow this map to one of my valuable treasures. Okay, so now this is awesome. This is something that they've added in Alpha 14. This game's great when you just get to roam around, but what they've done is they've given you missions, they've given you quests, they've given you objectives, and some of the time what happens is you get a bonus for doing these objectives within a certain amount of time, but that just adds depth. And here you see you can actually mark waypoints on the map, you can give them names, and if you're playing multiplayer, everybody can see these if you set it so everybody can see them. As we trek on. Still in this burnt forest, let me remind everyone out there, this is just one biome. There's a lot of biomes, there's the tundra, there's a deciduous forest. But right now, I think we're going to come up on this cabin. I've always said that this game is a hybrid between Minecraft and Fallout 3. And the more I look at this, the less it's looking like Minecraft, even though it still has the crafting survival elements. And the more it is looking and feeling like a Fallout game. I mean, just coming over that ridge and looking at that house, I don't know. There was something about that smoke and that lighting that just looked like Fallout to me. Just kind of reminded me of it. Check out my previous Seven Days to Die videos. We've done many of them. We're trying to make a bed here, but I've completely forgotten how to craft a lot of things on here. So just stay with me. Hang in there. I'm going to figure it out in a second. But go back. Check out my Seven Days to Die videos. I've been playing this forever. Hello, nurse. That joke I make once a season. 
headshot and she goes down. Like I said before, you have to finish them off now. Because I made the mistake, not only with Alpha 14, but Alpha 13, of getting that headshot, thinking it was over. I walked over there, and then they kip up, like HBK, hit that super kick. And it was the super kick party, by the way. There we go. Got that sleeping bag now. This is your spawn point when you put down the sleeping bag. So it's always important to get the sleeping bag because if you die without it, you will just get spawned randomly. What the hell is this? Some kind of sinkhole. I wonder what would happen if I actually jumped in there. But I'm not going to. I'm really just concerned with getting inside this house, setting up a little base, come back next time because next time we're going to do a lot more of this. I want to hear from you once again in the comment section. It is your boy Arachnid Soul. As always on fleek. Oh, you guys want more? They want. They're. T I, I was gonna go. I was gonna go have the pizza. I was gonna go have the pizza, but they're telling me they want more. They don't want me to leave yet. Okay, fine. I don't need to sign off yet. We can keep going. We're gonna put down this bed. We're gonna search this refrigerator. Actually, you know what? I'm getting kind of hungry. That, those are the sour apple Jolly Ranchers on that pizza, right? Yeah, okay, that's disgusting, I'm not eating that. Anyway, it has been your host, your boy, your champion, your friend, your mate, your soulmate, your lover, potentially, depending on who you are out there. Come back, join me next time for episode number two. We have played Seven Days to Die, and I gotta say it contractually every video, or I will get sued if you will. And I will catch you girls, you guys, and everyone else in between. Wait for it. Wait for it. Later!